Uh, so here I am heating the water, and this is where uh, you'll be stirring in the booster. Uh, make sure you use your sanitized um, your sanitized stirring device. I use the same device now for stirring. I went and bought this silicone spatula just for beer making. I use the same uh, device for stirring as I do for scooping it out of the can. So uh, anyway, you'll be stirring in the, the booster now really slowly. It, it re will clump, but um, uh, it's not bad because uh, you, you do once you start bringing it to boils, it gets hotter and hotter. It'll dissolve pretty quickly. So anyway, I've, as you see, also I still have my um, my mix here sitting in the hot water um, and we're just waiting for this to boil at this point and if I watch it it's never gonna huh. okay bye bye okay my water's boiling here I'm gonna take it off the heat I mean I hope we don't fog up the camera lens here and now it's time to open these cans of uh, the wart mix uh, it's like a wart concentrate I guess is what we're what we have here and um, and pour those in. So I'm going to do that. I, there's another thing I can't do um, and hold the camera so I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, basically I'm going to take my sanitized can opener just be, open those cans up and pour them into this hot water here. So I'll try and catch some of it on the video. Alright so here I am. Uh, I'm going to do it like this. So here I'm taking my sanitized can opener and I'm popping open the can here. I actually like those Euro can openers um, because this one, the the top of the can tends to go in the uh, in the concentrate. I don't like that because um, you know who knows what's on the top of that can. So um, here I go. Pull that out, and I'm start pouring. It's nice and thin because I had it in that hot water. So um, and then I'm going to take my um, sanitized um, scoop here, my spatula, and scoop it out. I really like this um, porter the last time I had it. This is my second time making this stuff. I mean the stout, excuse me. Porter's good too. Everything's good. Um, anyway, this takes a little bit. I'll stir it in. And, uh, and then I'm going to do the other can, but uh, you'll probably just have that one can because um, you've already done the booster. So the booster is kind of like um, the other can of this, it, it, um, but it doesn't have the, the flavor, I guess. I always try and get all of it. And um, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do the other can, and I'll get back to you. Because uh, then we're just going to pour it into the keg, which it has our four quarts of uh, purified water in it. Okay, so here I am. i got both of those cans mixed in. In your case, probably one can, if you've never done this. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my... I'm put my mixing spoon back on my clean surface here. And that's important, because I screwed that up one time. Um, but still didn't screw the beer up, but I think of it as lucky. So anyway, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take it over to the sink and I'm going to pour it into um, into the keg now. Um, I better do two hands with this, So, uh, but basically what I'm going to do is pour it right in there. Okay, I got that all poured in and um, I even took my uh, spatula and just, um, it's a little bit sticky, so... Uh, I scraped the bottom of the pan, or not scraped it, but just scooped out the last of it. So now we've got four quarts of water mixed with our wort concentrate. And then we're going to uh, fill this keg up a little bit to the, uh, I'm going to look at the directions. Okay, it's 8.5 quarts, which is right up there near the top. Um, then we're going to stir this again. Um, so we're letting this go up, we're going to stir it again, and then we're going to put in the yeast. And then there's a little bit of a break there. But anyway, I'll get back to you when this gets to 8.5. So we're basically just adding uh, the rest of the water now. Um, the reason you put the four quarts in in the beginning is so, um, so it's not this completely hot liquid that you're pouring into the keg. And uh, so now we're filling it the rest of the way. Okay, so I've got this filled to the 8.5 quart mark, and I'm going to take my um, still clean mixing spoon and I'm going to mix this up. 
I'm going to mix it up pretty well. And then I'm going to take those two yeast packets, and you'll have one yeast packet. And I'm going to pour it in. Once again, I want to keep my spoon clean, my stirring spoon clean here still. I'm interchanging the word spoon and spatula, but I think you get the point. Um, so now I'm going to take the yeast packets, um, tear off the top, and then put it in. And I'm not going to stir it. That's important. Um, and I'm going to wait five minutes. So I'm going to just pour these in. Okay, and there's my yeast in the keg, and it's just sitting there. And I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. Uh, and then I'm going to stir it and put the lid on, and we're good to go. We're going to wait two weeks. Um, it says one. I found two is good. I even like to do two and a half. It is winter, though, which makes it slower. If you're in a warm area, uh, one week would probably work uh, in the summer. You know, you'd also don't want it too hot. Uh, I can look up those uh, ideal brewing temperatures for you, but anyway, I find two and a half weeks works awesome in the winter. I can't, oh, I want to mention how great this stuff smells, too. The Sticky Wicket Oatmeal Stout is like uh, this delicious molassesy kind of uh, um, scent to it. It's really great. Uh, even with the yeast in it, it smells good to me. It, may, it smells like beer brewing, so <laughs> I like it. So, all right. Okay, we're at the last step here. My, uh, my timer just went off five minutes and you can see the yeast is not sitting on the top anymore it's kind of dissolved in a little bit we're going to stir this one last time and it's going away for two weeks so uh, so am I so going on a little vacation so it'll be perfect uh, it's right now it's right before Christmas and I'll have this thing all set up before New Year's and I'll uh, try and do another video maybe my wife will be around can hold the camera or something or a friend of mine who has offered to hold the camera so I'm just going to stir that up uh, real well, um, put the lid on, and then uh, put it in a good spot. And we've got a nice spot in our house that's kind of high up, so it keeps warm. Like I said, it's winter. So, um, all right, that's all I'm doing. One last stir and saying bye-bye to it. So, uh, boy, it sure smells good. All right, and uh, I'll try and do another video. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, that's going to be a lot of editing, I think. Um, so that's stirred up pretty well. I think it's ready to go. Um, and it's real easy cleanup. I mean, this, this whole deal, I um, can't tell you how, how worth it it is. And I'm going to put it away. That's it. End of video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.